Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Joe's Wild Side Adventures. Today I'm out here with Terry Collier and the Old Mo Guide Service, and we're on the Flaming Gorge Reservoir up in uh, Dutch John, Utah. It's good to see you, Terry. Good to see you again, Joe. We, yeah. we were out here not too long ago, yeah. a year or so, two years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago, and uh, uh, usually when I'm out here with Terry and Old Mo, uh, we get down on the river and do some trout fishing, but today we're going to do a little Mackinac fishing, huh? Yeah, we're going to try that, and uh, if we get lucky and get a couple of them, we may try a little uh, kokanee salmon fishing here, landlocked salmon. Uh, it, it's, a, it's actually a pretty good salmon fishery also. This morning we're going to be fishing with some spoons. Uh, we're going to drop these spoons to the bottom and kind of work, work them on, see if we can get one of these big fish today. All right, that sounds good. Hey, stay tuned everybody when we come back. Joe's Wild Side Adventures from Flaming Gorge Reservoir in Dutch John, Utah. Welcome back. Uh, before we get started fishing, uh, this is a little bit different type of fishing for me. So uh, we're going to do basically do some jigging. With right. These. Correct. A lot of people troll for these. They use uh, leaded line, steel line, drag big flat fish and stuff. This morning we're going to fish some some spoons for them. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to get over over the fish. And once we're marking the fish, we're going to drop right down to them and jig for them. It's a it's a little different method to do. It's a uh, I think a little more fun than trolling, you know, you get to fight the fish a little more, you get to actually feel the take. Uh -huh. uh, you got to finesse them a little bit, but uh, it's been pretty productive. We'll be fishing this morning anywhere from oh, 60 feet up to about 85 feet where we've been finding the fish out here lately. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the morning. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day up here, crystal clear, bluebird sky. So uh, let's give this a shot. Let's stop talking and try and catch a couple of these fish. All right, here we go. <laughs> So the little hump on the uh, on the depth finder is marking fish, huh? Yeah, as you can see there, there's a one there. We went over one, another one just a minute ago there. And usually when you find these, there's sometimes two or three together, and sometimes they're in little bigger pods. We're just gonna try and hold right on these fish so we're vertical, and hopefully we'll get them to eat something this morning. Okay. You give it a pretty good pop coming up off the bottom. You know, a lot of people think we're snagging these fish. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times these fish will swim by it and slap at it. Uh, we do a foul, foul hook one occasionally, but for the most part, they're trying to stun their, their prey here so they can turn around and swallow it head first. I see. There we go. Man. 
Now I can horse him, right? Okay. I want to just keep tension on him. I don't think he's going to be ready to be netted for a while. <laughs> wow, that's a good heavy fish. I have no idea how much it weighs, but he hit it hard. What, I, what I'll do is I'll get him right straight out the back and okay. we'll, we'll run him down. He took quite a bit of line there. Yeah, so. he did. Game on, folks. Uh, either have the bottom of the reservoir that's moving or a big fish. Then what we want to do here, Joe, when we get back up on him, I've got a, about 35 feet of uh, fluorocarbon on these. It's kind of a marker. Uh -huh. When we get that, about three wraps of that on the spool, we're going to breathe this fish and, and just let him sit there until he blows his own air sac. Okay. It'll make him a lot easier to revive. And... All right. Boy, that's a big, heavy fish. Now, for those uh, for those folks who aren't familiar with the Mackinac, it's a, basically a lake trout. Lake. It's a it's a lake trout. And they're they're an Arctic Arctic char family. Okay. These fish in this reservoir, the record here is 51 pounds and six ounces. Hmm. Man, man, is that a strong fish? You were talking about them running. They do run, don't yeah, they? Yeah, <laughs> certainly do. It's a lot different than trolling for them. You know? Oh yeah. Trolling for them, they pop it out of the clip and they're pretty much the fight's over with them. But you get them on this light line and it's a lot of fun. We're, we're fishing a 14 pound fire line with a 12 pound cigar fluorocarbon. This is almost like fighting a tuna in the big blue water. <laughs> See the bubbles back here? Yeah. That's him. That's him. We're about back over him now, so. The one thing you want to watch is this little motor if he comes around this side. Okay. He's still taking line on me. Yeah. Look at him blowing all the bubbles up. Wow. <laughs> What'd you say the state record was? <laughs> 51. <laughs> They feel a lot like being hooked onto a Buick. Yeah. I, I just can't get any line back on him. He's still going. Looks like we got a good, good hookup on him. Yeah. Like a head shake instead of a body warble. I say it's just like blue water fishing. You know, <laughs> you got to let them. You can't pull them in. You just got to wait. Always keep tension on the line. How about the jaws? Are they pretty soft? Are they pretty? No, firm? they're pretty hard mouth okay, fish. Okay, so and there we go. We got four carbon chilling right there. We get about three wraps of that on your spool there, and then we'll. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to see the fish pretty soon. Should be seeing some color back there any time. These are really beautiful fish. See the bubbles? Yeah. There he is back there. Here he is. Here he is. Wow. Nice fish, Joe. Son. Wow. <laughs> wow, is that a big fish? Oh, he's going back down. Yeah. There, there he, he is. is. We can see him now. Getting some color down there. Tip wrapped a little bit. Now we're good. We're good. Here he comes. Wow! Looks like a shark coming at us. Look at him. <laughs> coming Sweet. straight up. I think he's about tired out. Yeah, we about got him. Holy up. cow! Look at the size of that fish. That's a nice Mackinac. Oh. Come on, buddy. Uh, lift him <laughs> just a little bit, John. We got him. All righty. Coming to pop it. That's it. Look at his mouth, man. 
Okay, got the hook free. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. What'd you say, is about 20 pounds? Uh, pretty close to 20, I'd Look say. Look at that fish. Holy cow. What a beaut. Mackinac from Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Old Mo Guide Service. Triangle G Outfitters with this permit, Forest Service permit we run on up here, Joel. Okay. I'm gonna take this big boy and get him back in the water. Sorry, old buddy. Look pretty enough. He's gonna be fine. No worse for wear. How about that? Nice fish. All right. Hey, stay tuned, everybody. When we come back, more Joe's Wild Side Adventures with Terry Collier. And we're going to talk a little bit about the rivers of recovery, too, before we're done. Okay. Today. That'd be great. So let's get back to Mackinac fishing and uh, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> Man, that's a strong fish. Ugh. Ugh. He's got the. He's got the hot stick this oh, morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Get that up. This is every bit as good as that other one. Oh, he's coming at me. Whew. Where's he at? Man, I'll tell you what, that thing he hit. He's over to the left here. That thing hit so hard, almost pulled the rod right out of my hands. On the way down? Oh, yeah. He's going under the boat. Okay, I'm gonna get out from the on top of here. Woo! Oh, he's taking more line now. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, too, when you're jigging like that, you're really not expecting anything. And the way these things hit, it's just, it's amazing the strike and the power. You know, a lot of people tell me that this is fishing for these like this is like watching paint dry. Right? Oh, but it's worth it. It's when, exciting. It's worth it when your brush sticks. Uh huh. <laughs> so while I'm, uh, reeling this fish in. Tell us a little bit about the Rivers of Recovery and how you got involved and uh, what you guys are what you guys are trying to do here. Well, several years ago, a good friend of mine named Dan Cook, uh, while he was on a round the world fly fishing trip, decided that he was gonna come back here and do give something back to our vets from Vietnam and, and all, all, all the old wars. And he decided he'd give something back, so he started this nonprofit organization called uh, Rivers of Recovery. And uh, in 2008, we, we took you know, probably 20, 25 people down the Green River fly fishing, uh, guys with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, guys that were missing limbs, and, uh -huh. and we, we just had a great time with them. We've got the fluorocarbon coming up through the eye. Okay, well, we're, we're right. just going to let this guy blow some bubbles. And you have some information about the Rivers of Recovery yeah, on your website, right? I do. You and get on our website, oldmoguideservice.com, and there's a link there to Rivers of Recovery for people that like to make a donation and give a little back to these guys that have done so much for us. That's fantastic. Good luck. It's a great program, and we hope to be working with them for years to come. Great, great. Okay, we got the... Got him uh, probably about 30 feet down right now. Um, got the fluorocarbon coming up through. And I uh, haven't seen any bubbles yet, have you? No bubbles yet. We should see some color. Yep, there's some color There he is, right there, there he is. There he is. We'll just bring him gently. In. Well, you could see, folks, the, the fish is foul hooked in the back. And the reason that this happens so much, and Terry, you can explain, you, you said about 15 to 20 percent of the fish you catch, uh, get, they get caught in the tail, and these fish, these fish are predators. And what they do is when they see their prey, 
they whip around and they smack it with their tail and stun them. And once they stun the fish, then they turn around and eat it. Well, uh, he got my jig, and obviously what happened was he flipped his tail around to smack this fish and uh, got himself hooked in the uh, in the fin. You know, it's not it's not the ideal way to catch a fish, but uh, uh, you know that it happens. Okay. Woohoo! Look at that beautiful mackinaw. That's number two this morning, and. Uh, we don't want to uh, spend too much time with him out of the water. He's got a lot of life, so we're going to let Terry get him back in. What, Terry, you got him, Terry? Yeah, I got him. What you want to do is watch this release on this fish so people know that with all these fish go back. We got him up fairly quick. <laughs> He's smacking his lips at us. He should go back real quick here, but we're going to spend a little time with him. We like to make sure these guys live so we can catch him again. Yes, sir. There he goes already. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking fish. Well, way oh, to go, buddy. Joe. We got two in the boat this morning. That's right, man. That was... That's some pretty good entertainment, isn't it? It's your turn now, okay? I'm gonna take <laughs> no, a I'll leave them all for you. I get okay. to do this a lot. All right, great. <laughs> hey, stay tuned, everybody, when we come back. Joe's Wild Side Adventures with the Old Mo Guide Service, Terry Collier up here on Flaming Gorge Reservoir. Let's head down the river. We're gonna do a little bit of trout fishing. And uh, before we go, I know you wanted to mention something about the Forest Service and... Uh... Yeah, we do all this filming on a, a special use permit on the Forest Service. Uh, I own Old Mo Guide Service, which I have the, the, the permit on the river for. But the, the, the lake permit out here is actually, I run on another guy's permit, Hank Goots, it's Triangle G. And all of these permits are issued by the Ashley National Forest. And we'd just like to thank them for issuing us the permits to do these films. Well, great. Hey, we're going to give you all the information for Old Mo Guide Service and how you can come out here and fish with Terry. We'll give you his phone number. Give him a call. I can guarantee you'll have a good time. A lot of, look at the fish just laying on the bottom there. There we go. Yeah. That's all right, that's a good first start. Little guy, that's probably this year's planter. This is a kind of a small start, but at least it's a start. And we yeah. just barely got started, so we can look forward to a lot more of this today. Got a chaser. Hmm? Yeah, came up, took a look. Several fish holding right there. That big brownie coming up. Okay, you want to just keep working this little pockets down the bank. Okay. up on the dropper. It's a good fish. Nice. Yeah, jumper. Nice brownie. Strong fish, Terry. They're pretty good shape. They've just been temperamental this spring with the weather we've been having. That's a strong fish. There you go. Get him up the side here. Get his face up out of the water. That's a nice brownie. Nice brownie. Come on. We'll take him. We may, <laughs> we may be slow getting them, but we get the good ones when we get them. <laughs> he spit that hook right when spit he went in right that. I'll get you to wet your hand there. Or yes, just sir. hold him up, put your hand on the bottom of the net there. And Get a little sunlight on him, make a real oh, good yeah. picture there. Look how pretty. 
It's our first brownie of the day. Nice little white mark on the bottom of them. All right. They almost look like brookie fins there, don't they? Yeah, they, they do, <laughs> with the white, with the white uh, trim on them. All yeah, right, let's good. get him back All in. All right, we'll get him back in there and make sure he's in good shape. Away he goes. Now go way in, oh. six foot off the bank. Got him. There, sweet. A little subtle hit, too. Yeah. It was real subtle today. I think that might be a bow. Sweet. Go under the boat. Come on, you. Get out here. We're going to catch this eddy here, so we're all good. A bow? Just a, uh, it's hard to tell. I think it is. He's got a white belly on him. Definitely a rainbow. I was gonna say, I'm not not sure about the rainbow or the brownie part. Yeah, he didn't have a yellow on him. That's a nice, that's a nice rainbow. He wasn't quite ready. You gotta look at you, Terry. So. Yeah, he's oh, <laughs> that's one ugly sucker there. <laughs> All right. Nice subtle hit. Should have spit it already, he did. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hold still, pal. Hold still. Turn you around. He's still a little hot. <laughs> there we go. Ah, that's a pretty rainbow. All right. All righty. Oh. Green, <laughs> Green River Rainbow. We'll just stick him right back in the water and let him back to his business. Well, we picked up a few fish and uh, uh, I just absolutely love coming and fishing this river. You know, it's it, the, the rainbows, the cut bows, and you know, the variety of browns in here. And it just seems like it just keeps getting better. The fishing's been really good. It's uh, been a little temperamental this summer with the weather. Uh, we had a, literally had about six weeks that it rained every day here right through our cicada hatch, which is what the Green River is famous for, along with its high fish count. But, uh, you know, we'll get a few on the dries. The, the nymph fishermen do pretty good here also, just about all the time. But, you know, we, we, uh, it, it's fun to, to catch the, the browns. We got the lock lavens and the German browns and uh, cutthroats, the cut bows mm -hmm. and the rainbows. And it's just a real healthy fishery. And uh, we don't get as many big fish as we used to. They're still here. They've just gotten a little smarter. And you got to get here real early in the morning to get into them. And, yeah, and I, I noticed uh, there's a lot of fishermen out here. The, the word's out, you know. That's usually what happens when uh, when the conservation works and you know the game laws work and and everybody cooperates, releases the fish, and it's just thriving. And you estimate what twelve thousand? fish? They're saying between ten and twelve thousand per mile. That's what the, the numbers they come up with off their spring count. Uh -huh. And then as you get down to the B section and see it tapers off a little bit? Yeah, it, it tapers off a little bit. Them fish tend to migrate back up into this area as the water temperature gets higher during the summer months, and, uh, which actually makes this a, a real good uh, terrestrial, uh, big attractor patterns. We fish all summer up here, hoppers and these uh, fat alberts and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, you know, this is, this is about my ninth, ninth year up here fishing with you. And uh, you, you're like the granddaddy of the river, right? You have the oldest permit up here? Uh, it is, the oldest, per oldest permit that's never changed hands. We, we've been in business here for uh, 30 years or a little better, and uh, we just, we're not going anywhere. We, we plan on being here for a long time, so. Well, I'll keep coming back as long as you'll have me, that's Well, sure. we sure <laughs> enjoy having you, Joe. Yes, sir. Little one, though. Uh, a peanut? All right, we'll take him. Looks like another little native rainbow. Yeah, he is a little peanut, isn't he? Yeah. We'll just get rid of him and pop on through the rapid here. Hold her, little guy. We know 
We know you're bad to the bone. Get this little pocket on the right. Go here? Yeah. A little higher up there. That sure looks pretty right there. Nice now good. go in a little bit further. Should be somebody home in there. I'd go in just a little bit, not much. A couple feet. Big man. There you go. Kind of a back eddy in there. How far out? Uh, I'll get you in there. Just want okay. to go in about 10 more feet. There you go. There you go. Little teeny mound upstream. Yeah. Nice fish. Good brownie. That might even be a rainbow. Uh, I think it's a brownie. I think fish I too. seen it's that brown belly. That's a heavy fish. They've been pretty stingy today, Terry. They have. But I'll tell you what. We've uh, earned all that we've got. <laughs> that's for sure. And then some. I'm going to get him on the reel. He's a pretty good fish. Angle your rod to the left a little bit more. He'll swim up. That's a nice fish. Mr. Bonnie? I believe it is. I think so. Look at him bury his nose. He said, I'm not done yet. Yeah, that's a good brown. Good brownie. The last couple of fish that, uh, that hit on this uh, hopper just exploded. This one just kind of came up and came up and slurped him. Yeah, well, you can tell they've nice. been seeing some. The way they're hitting them. Oh, that's a good looking fish. Nice brownie. Oh, yeah. He's pushing 20. That's a nice brown. That's a beautiful brown trout. Look at him. Some Colors on that. Little red dots, Loch Laven. Uh huh. Nice brown. Yes, sir. All right. All right, that's a nice looking brown. He's right around 20 inches. Whoa, we're gonna get him back in. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I thought he was pooped out. He was ready to go back. Yeah, he saw go. that water. Well, that's gonna do it for today's show, folks. I wanna thank you for watching Joe's Wild Side Adventures. Thanks again to Terry Collier with Old Mo. Thank you, Joe. Man, what a day up on the great, lake. Great. Got those Mackinac and then and came down here this afternoon and got a few of these trout. up with the trout. It was a great day. So that, you know, that gives you an idea of what you could do here at Old Mo. You can uh, fish the rivers, you can go up and fish on the lake and uh, just have a great time. It's in a recreational area. You saw a lot of the rafters coming down and kayaker just a great time so thanks again buddy thank you and uh, i really enjoyed Look forward it. to seeing you again next okay. time excellent i'd love to come back make sure you stay tuned for cooking on the wild side coming up next thanks for watching and we'll see you next time